Hi, my name is Chris McQueen. I'm an instructional designer at TechSmith, and today I'm going to talk to you about my tips for doing voice recording. So let's get to it. So there are a lot of different ways to record your voice. What I'm doing right now is I'm using a flip camera, as you can see. Just a, a little unit like this that's on a tripod and has a front-facing microphone. Works great and it's nice that I have the recording there. You could do this with a DV camera or, or a lot of different things. Um, another way to record your voice, um, speaking of hardware, is uh, a USB webcam or you can use a, uh, a USB headset. Now the key word in all of that is, as I pull it up here, USB. Notice this isn't your normal headphone jack connector. And what you get with these USB recordings is a lot better way of um, minimizing noise. With a headphone jack, the similar style you'd have um, for the headphones that you wear, it picks up a lot of noise. It's an analog signal. With the USB, you get a digital signal, which removes a lot of the noise and gives you a better recording. So you have those options. You can also record on uh, just an internal microphone on a laptop but you're probably going to get pretty poor quality from that. So, that's kind of a, a roundup of different types of hardware. My suggestions, uh, use USB, and uh, now let's go into some techniques. Okay, so tip number one for voiceover work or recording your voice I call, you are what you eat. Whatever you eat tends to affect your voice. That's especially true if there's a lot of milk products or a lot of sugar in it. So I suggest that you don't eat a lot of sweet foods or anything with milk. Stick to uh, vegetables or something. And the other trick is hydration. Make sure you got a lot of water. It's amazing what you can do if you just have a quick sip of water in between takes while you're recording some audio. Just kind of clean everything out and make your voice feel nice and crisp and clear. Alrighty. Tip number two, I call breathe. It is so easy to forget to breathe when you've turned on the microphone. Suddenly, you're talking faster, and you're rushed, and you got all this excitement, and it sounds... It makes it sound like you're out of breath, or you're suddenly running a marathon instead of just talking. So, my second suggestion is breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth, don't do it too much, it'll get you lightheaded. And that's going to give your voice a much nicer, more approachable sound. The other thing that I do uh, for breathing is I stand up when I record. Now, sometimes you don't have that luxury, um, but if you can, when recording, try and stand up. Because it opens up your diaphragm, gives you a lot, much more, a lot more room for your lungs to fill up with air, and you're going to sound a lot better. Tip number three. Talk with your hands. If you've noticed while I've been here, I've been, I've been using my hands. And if you are a natural person to talk with your hands, this is going to feel great. Uh, I don't know what it is, but when you talk with your whole body, it sh everything just seems to be that much more alive and sound a lot happier. So don't be afraid to talk with your hands, especially if you're only recording your voice, because then you can be doing all that you want and you're not going to look silly. <laughs> Excuse me. You're not going to look silly. But when you're just recording your voice, let your hands fly and smile. Smiling can do wonders to make your voice sound cheery and excited. So if you can, try and force a smile and talk with your hands. Tip number four is kind of unusual. This one depends on how you're recording uh, your audio. So in this example, I'm using that little flip camera, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fill up this whole room with sound. So I'm talking a lot louder than I normally would if... I was just in the same room with someone. I'm not just talking to the microphone, I'm talking through the microphone. The point there is to try to fill up this, uh, the area with sound. Now that doesn't work if you're set up with a podcasting microphone. So let me switch this. So right now, I'm trying to fill up the whole room, and it probably sounds like there's a lot of reflection, and it, it, it probably sounds like I'm in a big space, maybe even bigger than I it really am. But... If I come in and I'm just talking to the microphone, it's a lot more intimate. You can hear everything that I'm saying. It's a lot more clear, and it's a lot louder. 
So depending on what you're recording and how you're recording, you may want to try and fill up the whole space like this or take it down and be a little bit more intimate. Still remember tips one, two, and three where you're moving your hands, you're smiling, but instead of talking to the whole room, just talk to the microphone. So that's tip number four. P decide whether you're going to talk to the room or to the microphone. This is tip number five and probably the most difficult. For lack of a better term, I call it use your head voice. This is the one that's going to take the most practice. Your head voice is where you try to use, kind of use your voice and direct it up through your head. So what does it feel like to have that voice go up through your head? Well, some of it, as you notice, I kind of look up and I try and think, what would it be like if I was trying to make all the noise go up through my head? And what does it sound when you're not using your head voice? Well, um, if you're using, putting all that sound in your lips, it might sound out here. If you're putting all the sound through your nose, you might feel it a lot more in your nose and like you're hitting against your, the top of your, the roof of your mouth. Whereas the head voice, it feels like it's coming straight out of your neck and up through your head. That's what I try to do with my voice over work, just to give it a nice, normal sound instead of through my nose or like all through my lips or out of my throat. Practice around with how you throw or how you direct your voice, and I would suggest try to direct it up through your head, and that's going to give it a nice quality to it. So those are my five tips for doing voice recording. Uh, good luck. Keep up the practicing, and uh, we'll see you next time.